Hey guys, it's David from Automotive Press. I'm at the Vancouver Auto Show, but specifically what I want to do today is talk about the future of Lexus. Well, actually, not just the future, but my request for Lexus. I want to see things change for the future models, and even though they might not listen to me, this is my kind of small list of um, hopeful changes that they might make to make the Lexus models even better and more attractive. So I'm going to talk about that from a perspective of all these models that are here at the show. So let's start with um, GX, which is one of my favorite cars. You guys already know that. We have a 2023 GX. I've ordered a 2025 GX Overtrail. Initially, I was going to buy the Overtrail, but I changed my mind. And now I've ordered the Overtrail Plus, which should come in a month or so. Uh, it's going to be the Earth color not the nori green which would have been my first choice but anyhow i'm looking forward to that so what can i hope for or wish for in terms of future lexus models well here are some of the things that i want to see change for example for the gx even though this may never happen i really want the gx to offer the same engine as a lx 700h which is right here which is a 3.4 liter twin turbocharged v6 with a hybrid that one has a crazy amount of power and torque and that's what I want to see happen on the GX. I doubt very much they will ever offer that because they don't want the GX to uh, overlap with the LX. So obviously, maybe, maybe not. But who knows? Even the Lexus IS received the 5 liter V8. So you never say never because you don't know. So that's my request. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with the way GX is. I still think it's just getting more and more expensive. So I wish that they will offer like a basic, simple version of the GX Overtrail. That would be wonderful. Uh, what about the LX? Well, I'm already happy that they're offering the 700H with that huge power and torque output out of a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 with hybrid. And you know, I'm tempted to buy the LX 700H, but it's a lot of money. And I don't think it's going to perform that much better than the GX in terms of overall feel. So I'm not going to um, place an order for that. But again, my request is to give us a simpler version like a more basic version of the LX700 Overtrail, bring the price down a little bit, because um, right now it's fully equipped. Uh, also, in case you didn't know, at least here in Canada, the LX700 H series only comes in Overtrail or Executive, and we don't get the F Sport. I know you get it in the US, but not in Canada. So that would be my one request to Toyota Canada or Lexus Canada, please bring the F Sport, or just bring us more variations of the LX700. Uh, also, maybe we can get different colors. This earth color is not bad, but it's not my favorite color. And hoping that maybe for next year at least, they'll bring us some more interesting colors. Maybe darker colors will be nice. Um, the Lexus RZ, we used to own that for a couple of years. We've now let that one go and got an NX plug-in hybrid. Um, but this one is going through many, many changes in case you didn't know. And the new version even has simulated transmission shifting on the paddle shifter. So, many changes coming i still think the styling is a bit too conservative so my request for lexus is to bring out a little bit more of aggressive design and changes but otherwise i'm happy with what's coming ahead in the next six months or so uh, let's go over there which is a little bit quieter again it's a bit noisy here but this is a lexus tx and the tx comes in a number of different departments as you guys know 2.4 liter turbo hybrid but also a 3.5 naturally aspirated V6 with a plug-in hybrid. That's the version that I would get if I were to buy a TX. But that plug-in hybrid version is very limited in numbers. And right now, we're still waiting for it in Canada. It's for sale now in the US. But even for US, the capacity is really limited. So again, my wish or my desire is to please increase the capacity for the TX plug-in hybrid. And also, I like the fact that the TX has a naturally aspirated engine with plug-in hybrid. If Lexus can continue that trend and offer more plug-in hybrids with more naturally aspirated engines in other lineups, that'll be great. Um, TX is built in Princeton, Indiana, in case you didn't know. I actually like the car a lot in terms of design, in terms of performance, in terms of character. I wanna see like a real performance model come out. So maybe either give us like high performance F Sport version, not a you know not this kind of version because f sport in the way it is shown now is mostly cosmetic change like a give us a real high performance version or maybe the over trail version of the tx that would be a real cool thing to have let's get into rx which is their number one popular car 
is built in Ontario, uh, also built in Japan if it's a plug-in hybrid. You know, they made lots of changes a couple of years ago. Once again, my, my request is to give us more variations, such as a high-performance, truly high-performing version of RX, maybe put a bigger engine or something with a more power and torque, uh, or give us the over-trail version. I think the concept of over-trail can go across the board, including the RX, and maybe offer it to every single lineup. I think that would be really cool to do. Um, let me come back to the US a little bit later. Let's go over there with the LC500. I think you guys know that I've owned the LC500 Inspiration Series for some time. I did recently sell it for many different reasons, which I won't get into right now. I'll do a separate video on that. Um, but one thing I did notice, and something I mentioned a number of times, is the fact that the steering feel and the steering characteristic for LC is pretty loose. Everything else is beautiful. The interior, the ride, the drive, the powertrain and engine is just absolutely amazing. But the steering always feels a little bit loose and not nowhere close to what the Porsche 911 feels. I know it doesn't compete directly with the Porsche 911, but I want to see that change. If they can tighten up the steering, bring the steering to life, and give us something that's closer to a Porsche 911 versus being a, like a kind of super luxury sports coupe. So that's my request. And that will make the LC500 almost perfect. Also, maybe the front end needs to change because this, the same design has been around for quite a few years now and both the front and back could use a refresh. Otherwise, the basic body design and styling is you know, near perfect because it's a beautiful car. And I love this color, which is the blue with a white interior. Would have been a combination that I would have purchased if I didn't buy the Inspiration series. Okay, let's get away from some of the busy area here and move into some other sections. We have the NX. We have two NX. One, this is done by the artist but also we have the NX plug-in hybrid. We just bought NX plug-in hybrid, so actually we really like it. We were happy with it. It's built in Japan, and it's a very reliable, absolutely excellent vehicle. Uh, but once again, don't give us an F-Sport in cosmetic format. Give us an actual higher performance, more fun to drive vehicle. I think that might be the kind of weak link in terms of Lexus. They make beautiful cars, high quality, well executed, but none of them are super exciting to drive and if you were to drive even something like a Porsche Macan uh, it has a much better steering feel much better driving characteristic and I want to see some of those kind of feel in the Lexus models because then they will expand the audience a bit maybe to include German customers who might not be buying a Lexus because it feels too soft so let's hope that's the case for NX to give us something with a more higher performance now let me just talk about the Lexus RC which as you guys know is actually finishing up it's going to be discontinued. And I suspect what's gonna happen is that the RC and maybe the Lexus LC might get combined together to create a new version, which is what the Japanese magazine, Best Car Magazine is saying. We'll have to wait and see. I still like this vehicle, especially in the RC F format with a V8, but this is quite outdated. So let's see what happens in the future. Um, only car I didn't talk about is the Lexus ES at the back. That one is going to be interesting because there's lots of rumors about the ES transforming and changing to something else with hybrid only. And that car hasn't changed for many years, so I really, really do hope that they'll update it very soon, which I think is expected to happen over the next year or two. So maybe hang in tight if you're thinking of buying that. It's going to change very shortly. Now, I didn't talk about the Lexus UX because it's, first of all, not the most popular models the Lexus has, but also, what I really want to see from Lexus is the LBX, which is sold in Japan and Europe and elsewhere, but not sold in North America. And I really do think that's the better uh, option for uh, Lexus as a small car compared to UX, which is very uh, outdated now, even though it's gone through some iterations. Not only do I like the LBX, but I also love the LBX Morizo edition, which is essentially a copy of the GR Corolla but it's a Lexus model. So basically you have a GR Corolla base, but with a Lexus interior and Lexus exterior, and it looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm really hoping that LBX, and especially the Morizo edition LBX, will come to North America. That would be my number one wish list in terms of a small car for Lexus.
That kind of wraps up the Lexus booth here in terms of my wish list for things to change. I do really wish the best for Lexus because we own so many Lexus models. Right now we have Lexus GX, which is 2023. We're going to get the 2025 version. We own the NX and as you know, I just sold the Lexus LC500. Um, who knows, maybe I'll buy it again down the road. Um, and so I, my love for Lexus is pretty strong and I'm looking forward to the new GX, uh, but there's lots of things they can do to improve it, to change it, to attract new type of customers. And those are things I wish will happen in the future. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see change at Lexus. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.